Hi, welcome. So today will be the first mathematics group course lesson, and this is session zero. So today I will be your tutor, JC Rathalunas, and we'll quickly start off with an intro as to how JT group tutoring works. First of all, I am a Bachelor of Computer Science student in my third year, and I enjoy making videos on the side. I graduated from Elizabeth Blackburn School of Sciences in 2019, and I got around one to two superiors for when I sat the Nossel, John Monash, and Elizabeth Blackburn School of Sciences exam. And I've been tutoring for about three years, and have helped over 50 plus students for the entrance exams. So an intro to the mathematics syllabus. When signing up for this group class, this actually applies for both the mathematics exam and the numerical reasoning exam. So for those who are applying for John Monash, Elizabeth Blackburn, the general selective, so Mobenheim, McRobb, Suzanne, and Nossel, this course will be applicable to you. So this is the syllabus which I will be following. There will be some weeks where I will be unavailable to tutor on the weekends, so I will let you guys know before. The content here is based on the checklists which I have made and have revised over the years with my students. Okay, so the session structure. So for group sessions, these will have three to six students, and they'll either be online or in person at Monash Clayton, depending on the location of the students. During each session, or each of these one hour sessions, it will be 15 to 45 minutes of explanation and practice of a certain concept, and then 15 minutes of an online quiz on the lesson topic. By doing this, we will have a marker for which we can see your knowledge on that current topic. And hopefully, as we continue to practice and prepare more, uh, that score that you get will be improved over time. Okay, so the tools and resources that we use. First of all, we use Google Jamboards. For when we have our Google Meets, we will be using this online whiteboard for collaboration. I'll be adding questions to those and then when we go over some problems and I demonstrate to students how things work, we will then use the Jamboard. One thing to note, I would recommend it if students are able to purchase a drawing tablet or use an iPad or device with a pen. The tool that we use is Notion and this is where I have a lot of my notes as well as any additional practice problems. And then I also use Discord and SMS and that is just for communication purposes. Those are my two main channels for communication, as well as email, but I'm not as active on my email. And then the last tool is the website. So the learning management platform is where all the quizzes, all the progress, and all the details about the student will be tracked. I'll go into more depth. I'll go into more depth about it in the upcoming slides. Okay, so the mathematics homework outline. So each week, I will be setting homework that will need to be completed before the next class. So there are two key things which I need students to complete each week. And number one is the daily space learning quiz. This can be anywhere between 5 to 25 minutes, depending on the intensity for which a student has selected. Number two, the subtopic question quizzes. So yes, we will do one in class, but I would also like students to try it again sometime in the week before the next class. And then there are also more practice questions on Notion for additional support. And roughly this is about 55 plus minutes per week. So course goals. The main goal is to get a superior for mathematics and numerical reasoning. But the sub goals within those exams are to A, to develop strong fundamentals in maths, and number two, to improve the speed of questions to around 30 seconds. And for numerical reasoning, it's to develop strong abstract reasoning skills as well as pattern recognition skills. And once again, we want to improve our speed of the questions to around 36 seconds. So lesson zero's goals. This is just to learn more about the JT Mathematics course as well as how it will work and to also familiarize yourself with the JT Learning Platform, and to complete the orientation exams to find out your level of knowledge in regard to the exam content. Since I'll be uploading session zero and session one for each of my group classes, 
I've made this slide just to uh, you know, advertise a bit. So if students are interested in joining these classes, they can visit the tuition frequently asked questions page on my website or contact me via email querying about the group session. Apart from that, let's go on to the JT Learning Platform. Welcome. So today I'm going to intro you into how to use the JT website. When you first log in, after making your account, you'll be greeted to this first page, which is called Study. In this page, students will have access to the Space Learning Quiz, which will allow students to master questions of their choice. In order to activate Space Learning, students must activate the gear icon on the right and hit Enabled, and from there, select their intensity for the amount of questions they want each day. Students who use this feature have a higher chance of getting in as they will be more prepared compared to other students. They also have access to a self-practice section which will generate a quiz based on the questions they have selected. In order to enable the space learning quiz, you must first add items to your study bank. In order to do so, you must first click on the available items tab and from there you will be greeted with all the items, quizzes, question and collections that you might add to your study. As an example, if we look at the VR synonyms row, the hat is highlighted in blue, indicating that it is already a part of the study. To remove this item from the study, you just need to click on the blue hat icon and it will remove it. Any row indicated by a uncolored hat icon indicates that it is not a part of your study bank. Another neat feature about this page is if you ever just want to practice this quiz in particular, you can click on the go to quiz button and it will take you to that quiz page. Each student will be provided different access to the various collections based on the classes which they have signed up for. For example, a student applying for John Monash Science School will only have access to the numerical reasoning, mathematics, science reasoning, science analysis and reporting, and science interest in communication collection. More questions will be added over time. In the study items section, you are able to view what items are already added to your study. They'll also indicate the amount of quizzes as well as the total questions you can potentially practice. In this section, it also indicates your progress in regard to how well you know the content. As for the progress, we can see that this user has only covered 12.79% of the algebra questions and is a novice at them. There's also a remove all button to remove them all from the study. Ideally, students are looking to add all these items to their study plan after they have completed the content lesson on that topic. Now we have the exam section. In here, practice exams will be provided. At the moment, all students will only have access to the orientation exams depending on the classes they have signed up for. Each of these exams is 15 minutes and is a shortened version of the actual exams just to gauge where a student is at at the beginning of their tuition session. And they can view the open, upcoming, and past exams in this section. Next, we have the collections page. And in this page, we have the different exams and the various subtopics. For example, mathematics has been broken down into their 15 topics and students are able to access and do any quizzes based on any of the subtopics provided. By doing so, this will allow them to get better at solving particular questions that they might struggle with. They can also choose the mode. Practice mode allows for students to get feedback after each question has been submitted. Exam mode will show the results after a student has submitted their exam and timed exam mode is similar to exam mode but will uh, mimic the time requirements of the actual exam. Length just indicates the amount of questions you would like and subtopic showcases the subtopics within this topic that a student might want to practice. In assignments, this is where a lot of the writing tasks will be assigned and students will be asked to complete one before each session. Next, we have the insights or results page, and this will just showcase to parents and students 
how a student is going in regard to their progress against the cohort, as well as the average scores for each of the tests and exams. This is helpful to know as it will allow parents to see whether their child is progressing or whether to let the student know if they should spend more time on a certain topic or chapter. In here, you can also view the attempts, which will showcase all the past quizzes and tests that a student has completed. You can also click on the results tab and it will showcase all the stats in regards to the quizzes taken, questions answered, and assignments completed. This is also useful to know what quizzes or tests the student has completed in the past. That is a quick intro to the JT website. Hopefully this showcases what resources are available and will allow students to have a more clear idea of what each section has to offer. Hopefully you guys are now more confident with how the website will work. We'll now move on to the mathematics orientation test to find out how you guys are. It will be 15 minutes and it will have 30 questions and you are allowed one working out paper and no calculator. So yep, I'll leave you to it and we'll come back in 15. Okay, good work. Now that we've finished the mathematics orientation test, we will now move on to the numerical reasoning test. In this test, you are allowed one working out paper and no calculator. This will be 15 minutes and will be done online. Okay, great job guys. Now that we've finished the orientation test, I uh, just want to say thank you for joining today's session and I will see you next week.